Okay, hello again. This is another video. Uh, this uh, was a problem sent to my one of the students. I don't uh, I didn't ask it for asking how to solve this one. Uh, this is a 3D geometry problem uh, that has to be simplified to deal with the sector uh, finding an area. He's asking you to find x. The main request in this problem is to find x here, the angle. Uh, basically the shape is going to be divided, it's like that this cone here is going to be divided into two equal halves, you're going to divide it uh, to have this shape that we have, you see here, so after unfolding this shape you're going to have it looks like this, okay? So the request is asking you to use, he said that there's a radius of 2.45 Gonna draw the shape probably now. <clears throat> the problem saying that you have this is the shape, the 3D shape. Uh, you have 2.4. Uh, this is representing the the radius. Uh, the volume, the volume of the shape, the volume is equal to 95.4. So you give it 50. And we will explain it directly that the rule to finding the volume of cone shape is given in this equation. It's even written here in the uh, question. Okay, this is representing H. And this is representing U R. So all the given information is done here. <coughs> so you're gonna use this equation to do basically what? To find out H. H is representing the vertical distance this one because you're gonna use it to find out something else later so also he said that you know the paper is gonna be cut out and he wants you to calculate the angle this angle here. after doing the shape after unfolding the shape the shape is gonna look like this he wants you he wants to know this angle X okay and in this shape basically you need to find out a variety of things number one you need to find out this side here the L and also you need to find the arc area here <coughs> because you cannot find the equation because the equation that we're gonna use is talking about uh, when you're trying to find the arc area for a sector arc is gonna be equal to x the angle over 360 multiplied in 2 pi r and basically this is representing r in this way so we need to find out what need to find out uh, this one because the rest of the information uh, and also this one you need to find it so now we're going to explain how you can find it first of all you need to deal with this equation here the volume you're going to use it to find out some of our user information so you're going to say that 95.4 is going to be equal to what equal to third multiplied in pi multiplied in r square which is going to be 2.4 or square all of that multiplied in h the height that we're trying to find out so we are saying that h basically is going to be equal to what to 95.4 <coughs> divided by third multiplied in pi multiplied in 2.4 square which is going to be equal and i try to simplify this fraction using the calculator uh, it's gonna be equal to something around this 95.4 divided by 60.03, uh, which is gonna be equal to something around 15.82. This is equal to centimeters. So, this is the distance right now. We found out it, which is gonna be equal to 15.82 centimeters. Now, after that, the problem is gonna become uh, more like a. Uh, <clears throat> you're gonna uh, use what you have learned about Pythagoras theory, because you know that this shape here looks like a triangle. So if I say that this is equal to 15.82, and I say that this is equal to 22.4, uh, I mean that I can find the slant. This is called the slant sign, okay? Because I need it later. Slant is gonna enable you to find out uh, the radius of the arc. Because this shape, if you notice, that this is the arc, right? 
this shape here it's gonna enable you to find this distance here and this distance is needed to find out the arc length okay so now we're gonna use it to find the slant and the rule is gonna be like this we're gonna use the tra trigonometry theory as I said for this one we're gonna use the uh, Pythagoras theory so x square we're gonna call it x square we're gonna call it L okay slant slant square it's gonna be equal to 2.4 square plus 15.2 square and then x square is gonna be equal to Square root, I'm gonna say slant square root of the square root of 5.76 plus uh, 250.27, which is gonna be equal to the square root of 256.03, which is gonna be equal to something around 16 centimeters. I did some rounding, so maybe the number is gonna be different for you, something like. 15 bone but for me it's gonna be 16 okay now the 16 we say that this is representing what this is representing the slant it means that we're gonna use the slant <coughs> to solve the problem right now we say that the arc this is the arc okay we need to find x and you have your arc with a certain value and you have t as equal to radius so now you need to find out the next information is you're gonna write the uh, rule so you don't forget it um, the thing is this right now uh, when you think about it when you are unfolding this arc here this distance here the whole thing is representing what representing the whole diameter you understand what I'm talking about because when you are unfolding the cone the arc is representing what representing the circumference so the arc is going to be equal to the circumference so it means that the arc is going to be equal to 2 pi r this is going to be equal to what it's going to be equal to 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 2.4 which is going to be equal to something around 4.85 we're going to keep the pi as this centimeter because we're going to use it later to get rid of some information from the equation uh, and from what we've studied about arc we know that the arc length this arc length could be found out using this formula x over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r the only thing that I need to pay attention to is that the R here this is representing this R which is representing this don't get confused okay so it's gonna be equal to 16 so now you're gonna use information the R from our uh, understanding it's gonna be equal to it's gonna be equal to 400 <coughs> it's gonna be equal to 4.85 multiply then 360 which is going to be equal to x this is how we're going to do the formula we're trying to get, make x directly uh, a subject over what over 2 pi r which is equal to uh, the r we see that's going to be equal to according to my equation it's going to be equal to 60. Now you're gonna apply, you're gonna try to do some cancellation of the pi with the pi. And after doing some calculation, 4.8 multiplied by 360 is gonna be equal to 1728 uh, over uh, 32. Okay divided by 32 which is going to be equal to something around 54 degree don't forget this is equal to what this is representing the angle that you're trying to find out in your problem you're trying to find out x 
which is gonna be equal to 54 degrees okay that's it for this problem see you in the next video Ciao.